let us come back and learn the structure of chromate and dichromate ion right so uh, as we have studied in uh, potassium permanganate manganate and uh, uh, your uh, permanganate ion it's here you're going to study about chromate and dichromate so whenever i speak about chromate ion this the formula for this is just see cr O4 minus 2. The overall charge is minus 2. Here, when I have to speak about dichromate, just see this is chromate. Now, two chromates, di, isn't it? Two chromates linked together. It is Cr2O7 minus 2. So, this is your charge and this is your whole formula. Let us write the structure. So, when they have asked me to write the structure, just see as you have seen, there are four oxygen atoms surrounding chromium. So, chromium is a central metal atom. Done. Okay. Let us let me not write this like this. Let us write in this way. Done. Now, you have four oxygen atoms distributed. Right. One above and one below. One more oxygen atom here and this one more oxygen atom here done the whole charge as i said minus two done so when i have to join these what is how is it looking it's just looking like a tetrahedral structure isn't it yes okay right. so this is basically looking so the shape of the molecule is tetrahedral tetrahedral now, when I have to come to dichromate, two chromate ions are going to combine together to form a dichromate ion, right? Both interconvertible. So, chromate on further uh, forming just like a dimer. So, the same chromate draw the structure, right? Now, just see Cr, okay? One more Cr. Your double bond is still existing here. Your double bond is still existing here. Your one more double bond is again existing. Here also one more double bond existing this oxygen atom is still existing there this oxygen atom is still existing here now how many are over three plus three six i have to make seven the seventh oxygen atom is going to form a link between these two yes so this is your dichromate ion just see now uh, just join like this you can okay if you wish to join like this and just like i have shown it if you wish to join you can join the ring not a problem tetrahedral here also okay so this is your dichromate ion <clears throat> now when i have to see this is also tetrahedral but arranged in uh, like in the form of a dimer when i have to write the structure without no bonds it's simple representation you can also write like this make cr right so one oxygen two three four yes minus two then when I have to write the structure, how does this look like? It looks like CR linked with oxygen. One more CR. One, two, one, two, three, three minus two. So this is the record. So the most important. Here, what's happening? Here, car chromium and oxygen bonds. When I have to see, all chromium and oxygen bonds are equivalent, isn't it? All are equal. So oh, CR all. Okay, all CR bonds are equivalent. Means e equal. But when I have to see dichromate structure, just see. Now, as I said, this is equal, this is equal, this is equal. But this particular bond, what am I trying to speak? This bond, yeah, from the CR, OCR bond. When I have to see the bond length, observe, the bond length here or the bonds are longer. Why are they longer? Let's see. If I have to come back and write, now your CR is like this. Now, this is your CR, this is your CR, isn't it? Now, from here till here. The bond length was observed to be 179 picometer. Okay, here and see, same. But when I compare this chromium and this chromium, this oxygen, I'm talking about this. This is only 163 picometer already. You see? So all are 163, 163, 163 picometer, but the center carbon where okay, chromium where it's forming oxygen bond is 179 picometer. That means I'm trying to explain one important concept in dichromate. You have two types of bonds. One is a longer bond that is CRO bonds are longer and the other which is forming is 163 picometer shorter bonds. That is important. So here all are equivalent, but CRO, CR bonds are longer. <clears throat> and CRO bonds are shorter. 
that's an important thing to remember now when i have to come back uh, to the structure as i've said okay uh, minus 2 charge there also minus 2 charge that's more than enough for you to explain the uh, whole uh, structure of chromate and dichromate 